Hello, welcome to Operation 4.0 GPA Tutorials. It's all about economics. Our focus in this video is the 10 principles of economics, which has been grouped under three themes. So we have the first one, how people make decisions, how people interact, and how the economy as a whole works. So the 10 principles are grouped under these three themes. Let's go deeper into the 10 principles of economics. How people and how people make decisions we have principle one people face trade-offs making decisions requires trading off one goal against another this is due to scarcity a student can spend all her time studying economics or spend all of it studying geography for every hour one studies economics one gives up an hour that he or she could have used studying geography and the other causes. So trade-off is the item or activity for gone to gain the other. Principle two, the cost of something is what you give up to get it. Because we face trade-offs, we have to make a good decision in choosing the best among all the other options we have. This results in opportunity cost. The opportunity cost of an item is the cost or benefit of the best alternative for gone it shouldn't be confused with trade-offs the trade-off is the item say the geography you have forgotten to watch this economics tutorial whilst opportunity cost is the geography knowledge you would have gained opportunity cost also talks about the time involved the time used in watching this video cannot be used in watching another video so the cost of something is what you up to get it. Principle 3. Rational people think at the margin. Economists assume that people are rational. Rational people make the best decision in achieving their objective. Thinking at the margin is weighing the cost and benefit of an activity and taking that activity whose benefits exceeds its cost. Economists also uses the term marginal changes. So we have marginal benefits and marginal costs. Marginal changes is a small increase or decrease to a plan which can affect a decision. Therefore, we say rational people think at the margin. Principle 4. People respond to incentives. An incentive is something that induces you to take an action. So principle 4 says that one would want to say learn buy a book to read, watch my YouTube video, if there is a motivation or a reward, you will gain. So we say people respond to incentives. Principle 5, 6, and 7 fall under the theme, how people interact. Principle 5, trade can make everyone better off. Can you imagine this world without trade? Then you would have to do everything by yourself. So we are better off when we trade. But trade results in competition. Businesses compete with one another to bring out the best option for their customers. Individuals searching for jobs are competing with other unemployed persons. Trade allows countries to specialize in what they can do best and to enjoy a greater variety of goods and services. So we say trade can make everyone better off. Principle 6. Markets are usually a good way to organize economic activity. An economic activity is everything about producing, buying, or selling of goods and services. Markets provide a defined environment to perform all these economic activities, where we have firms to decide whom to hire and what to produce. We have households also to decide which firms to work for and what to buy with their incomes. Markets usually gives a good organization for these economic activities. Principle 7. Governments can sometimes improve market outcomes. The market usually fails in providing efficiency and equity. Either the producer exploits the consumers or the consumers cheats the producers. When invisible hands of demand and supply are unable to set efficient prices, the government intervenes to improve market outcomes. 
and that how the economy as a whole works. We have principle 8, 9, and 10. Principle 8. A country's standard of living depends on its ability to produce goods and services. A country with good or high standard of living has good health care, longer life expectancy, more cars, good internet connection to watch my YouTube video, and all the good things you can think of. How then did they get all these good stuff? Through its ability to produce goods and services. Principle 9. Prices rise when the government prints too much money. Printing too much money above our production level will lead to too much money chasing fewer goods. And this will cause prices of goods and services to rise. So when government creates large quantities of the nation's money, the value of the money falls. Now to our last principle, principle 10. Society faces a short-run trade-off between inflation and unemployment. Inflation is when prices are increasing persistently without corresponding increase in output. This serves as incentive for firms to hire more workers to produce and this reduces unemployment. The opposite is also true. When there is lower prices, it discourages firms to hire workers and even lay off workers and this increase unemployment. This affirms a short-run negative relationship between inflation and unemployment developed by A.W. Phillips. This is a short-run phenomenon that society faces. So in summary, we have the 10 principles as follows. 